Jaihee, I'll start with you first. I wanted to know, what were the main reasons that you think that your character of Kevin was able to connect so deeply and so strongly with the ghost that we meet in the film, who we come to find out is Ernest? I think the main reason is that they're both outsiders in a way. I think Kevin makes it very clear that he feels um, sort of misunderstood by his father and they're often at odds. And so when he meets Ernest, who is uh, has a similar path of feeling like an outsider and being sort of alone, um, he's able to connect with him. And um, mm -hmm. Um, it's very clear to Kevin that Ernest kind of uses his ghostly presence and scaring people away as like a defense mechanism. Yeah. And so he makes it um, very clear, like, nah, man, that's it's not going to work on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm here with you. And um, they're able to find that um, sense of familiarity within each other. So it's really cool to see that throughout the film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Anthony Mackie, baby. <laughs> <laughs> honestly that was one of my one of my favorite parts of the film was when um the characters were walking in in the attic and then um um Niles's character was like oh you have to use your use your deep commanding voice to let them know who's in charge <laughs> and then the voice that she, Anthony puts on it was kind of that was one of my favorite parts of the film <laughs> that's my uh, my Eddie Murphy voice <laughs> you have to go deep you always go Eddie Murphy let them know that's dad boy <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And Anthony, for you, um, what did you enjoy the most about this complex father-son relationship that we see in the film and that we kind of learn more about throughout the film as far as their relationship? Well, you know, it's generational, right? Like our parents come from a completely different understanding of reality than we do. So my relationship with my dad, it was very different than my relationship with my son. Um, mm. And being of age where I am a parent, I wanted to do a movie where I could express and kind of, you know, go through those different trying times now being the father of a teenager and try because I learned a lot just by being on set with Jahi and, you know, watching this character being such an asshole. But at the same time, thinking he's just being a regular guy, you know? <laughs> and it, it's funny because as parents, we try to relate and we try to understand and we try to reach out, but the kids are so closed off and they think that they're not being heard and they're not being listened to. So it's really this weird divide that if, if I, I, I learned a lot by it, just, you know, working out my, my troubles with, with this young man <laughs> without being able to throw him out a window. I know you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you both so, so much for your time. I can't wait for everyone to see this movie. Your, your poster thank selection you. is real interesting, dog. Thank you. Thank you. you know, I wanted to be eclectic. You know, we have Love Jones, um, Parasite, um, The Wood, Moonlight, Euphoria. So I want to get like a, a diverse mixture. Parasite, you. Yeah, that's, that's some interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like and, I, and I often talk to people who I was had with me along um, last week, and most of the time I don't realize someone's behind me when I'm talking to them. So oh, yeah. um, maybe I'll need to get, oh, we have a ghost. <laughs> ghost <next. Yeah. laughs> Do that. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you both. Thank you. My first question for you is, I want to know what was the experience like, you know, being able to connect to um, your scene partners and the other actors, considering the fact that your character doesn't have, like has, little to no dialogue in the film. So what was that experience like from an actor's perspective? You know, you're, you're essentially carrying a lot of the movie, but you know, you don't have many lines. So what was, what was that like? It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, it was definitely one of the things that appealed to me though, because it, it's a challenge, you know, mm -hmm. what, what are you going to do? Um, but I think I was very lucky in most of my scenes are with Jahi, uh, and he's such a um, soulful, uh, soulful young person. And mm -hmm. I found myself just really, um, you know, connecting with him. And, uh, and so a lot of it was taken care of just by that relationship on set. Um, but, you know, it's funny, like I thought it would have been in the beginning, I thought, oh, maybe this will be an easy gig because I don't have to memorize any <laughs> lines. And I uh -huh. found myself as I went on 
thinking it's actually much harder mm -hmm. because you don't have that to rely on. You really have to come up with a lot of inventive stuff and think about mm -hmm. behavior more, how you're going to express certain things. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, you know, he's CGI too. So there was a lot of elements with CGI that we had to deal with, which is mm -hmm. hard as well. Um, but it was a really, you know, a really fun challenge. And I'm glad that it resonated with you. I, I hope that it resonates with people. Um, Cause it, it was something that, yeah, it was a really fun challenge for me. And what were your thoughts when you first read this? I mean, I know that the character didn't have too many lines, but re reading this script and then realizing that, you know, the the character, the ghost character that we are introduced to in the beginning of the film has really this this deep backstory that we, we come to learn throughout the film. So what was it like knowing that this there were so many layers to this character that we didn't speak? There's, there's so many layers in this bigger story at hand and at play. Yeah, I mean, I really liked that. I still, I felt like as I, as I really read the script, what I really liked about it though was it has a feeling a bit like E.T. Like there's, my character is almost an alien in the world and it's really about this family journey. And what mm -hmm. I found myself watching was Anthony's character related to Jahi's character, how this father and this son don't, in the modern world have problems connecting because mm -hmm. I think of all our kinetic energy, like we're always like on our phones or doing something or plugged in or blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And that Ernest has this quality of really being left in the past. I mean, he is a product. He's in the walls of this house. He's got a weird comb over that not many people have anymore. He's got this bowling shirt. Like he's, he's really a product of a different age. He's kind of been put aside. But I think that there is a power to his experience and sort of a powerful thing that he has to offer the young mm -hmm. generation and Jaheed and even in this family. And I think that was the most interesting thing, like his trauma, although it it was of interest, what was more interesting to me was how he related to furthering the story of this family, like mm -hmm. what it was that he offered just by his presence and by, you know, his otherness he's just i wanted him to feel very other yeah. like this modern world is moving along and you have this thing at the center which is doesn't help hold the same values as the people nowadays mm -hmm. and i really like that quality about him yes yes well thank you so so much for your time and i can't wait for people to see this movie thanks man so first of all i want to know i know this is based on a short story so what were parts of the short story that you knew you wanted to keep into the film as far as like your directorial process and how do you feel like you could make the, the story fresh as well? Right. I mean, I was very drawn to the short story because it felt like a really fresh approach to a ghost story, you mm -hmm. know, something that I hadn't really seen before. And I also like how it modernized it because it, it presented the idea that, that Frank is basically like stalking a ghost and, and posting about it. Um, so those are the things that I really liked about it. What I wanted to, to do with the short story, though, was to sort of expand it and open the world up, make it more of a of an adventure movie, um, really pull focus on Kevin. You know, and the short story was very focused on Frank, um, mm -hmm. and I wanted the movie to be about Kevin. Um, so I really put my focus there. And then also making sure that, like, this big adventure that there was, you know, that they had an an adversary that they were being pursued that, you know, like, so all of that kind of was what I used to kind of help build out the, the movie version of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think overall, I feel like this is a film that's going to, that's kind of, kind of, you know, it stands out differently from the, a lot of your previous um, works in your previous filmography. Um, although I do see hints and traces of, you know, projects such as Freaky, which also, by the way, Freaky is like one of the best things to come out of the 2020 year. Like, I, Thank love, you. So much. I love it so much. And I think that this also has hints of my best friend's exorcism. So it has a lot of um, hints of those films and that. So how do you think your prior work was able to influence some of the things that we see and we have a ghost? I mean, I think the common denominator is that, I mean, all my movies have me in them, my personality, mm -hmm. my sense of humor, um, my life experience. And so I, I always, I mean, for me, that's, that's what I like to do. I try to, to write from a really personal place and I want to connect with these people and go on this journey with them. Um, and so that's really, for me, sort of what 
what's in all of them. And I don't know if they necessarily, if one movie sort of influences the next. Um, mm-hmm. But like I said, it's really just about if I, if I don't personally connect with something that I don't want to bother with it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, not to talk explicitly about what happens in the film, but like at the end of the film, I do feel like it kind of like, it opens the door for perhaps, you know, like maybe revisiting um, the world that we see in this film again. Do you think you would be open to that? Oh boy. (laughs) I don't know. It's just, it's for me, it's honestly, I would be open to it if, if the right idea presented itself. Mm -hmm. Um, But I, I'm not a, I'm not a sequel person for the sake of following something up. Like I, Mm -hmm. I made happy death day too, because I had that idea. Like I knew there was more story to tell. Um, and that's the only reason I would ever do another film. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, thank you so, so much for your time. I can't wait for everyone to see the film. I appreciate it. It's nice to meet you.